Prime News reached out to U.S. Airways and its spokesman says, let me read this to you, safety is our mm-hmm. number one priority and we feel we did not feel it was safe for Mr. Title to fly that day because he appeared to have a lot of difficulty moving. He did not appear to be able to assist himself in evacuating in the event of an emergency. Now, here's the airline's official policy. For safety reasons, for safety-related reasons, if a passenger has a mobility impairment so severe that the person is unable to physically assist in their own evacuation of the aircraft, U.S. Airways requires the passenger to travel with a safety assistant to assist the passenger to exit the aircraft in case of an emergency evacuation, and that safety assistant most, must purchase his or her own ticket. So now you're buying two tickets for someone. Johnny, I want to bring you right into this discussion. Johnny, I, I want to know what they told you in terms of you not being able to fly. As I understand it, you had been on a plane flight earlier that day. All this time you've been flying airplanes. Now all of a sudden you can't go on this plane. Yeah, this has never happened before. Really, basically what happened. Um, I went down to the, went through security, and the station manager told me he would be the one meeting me at the gate. He met me at the gate, um, tagged my chair to go into baggage, which was great, put me on the aisle chair, brought me on the plane, um, and like people always do, just put me in the aisle chair, brought me on the plane, brought me to my seat, set me in my seat, left me to fly to Atlanta. Uh, came back 10 minutes later and said to me, um, we need to talk. Uh, now, I got to tell you, I didn't think they were going to remove me from the plane. I was wondering why we needed to have a discussion outside of the airplane you know, did something happen to a family member? What's going on? I was a little apprehensive and a little nervous as to what was going on, kind of confused. And uh, they removed me from the plane and proceeded to tell me that it was their policy uh, that uh, they could decide if I was too disabled to fly. And they basically told me I was too disabled to fly and I had to fly with a companion and I had to purchase that companion's ticket. So, Johnny, did they um, give you a reason, though? I mean, too disabled to fly, I, I understand that part, but we just read the policy, something about being able to exit in the case of an emergency. i got to think that someone would help out. You know, people always help out on planes. We help each other put our bags up and help each other to our seats. I, I want to know if they know, gave you a real explanation here. They really didn't. Um, they really didn't give me a real explanation. Uh, he didn't really sit down and look at me and say, you know, if there was a problem on the airplane, you wouldn't be able to evacuate yourself. He didn't ask me if I could evacuate myself. No one had a discussion with me prior to putting me on board to ask me what I was physically able to do or not do if they had a concern. Okay. Um, And that really, you know, there's an issue there. Uh, I'm a human being. I'm a smart human being, educated. I've traveled all over the world. Uh, ask me what my needs are. Do you want something from the airline? Do you feel like you've been aggrieved here? Are you thinking of bringing suit? No. Um, Why? No. Be- because, uh, look it, mm-hmm. this is not just about having a disability and not being able to fly. I'm a professional speaker. I'm a comedian. I'm very funny. Um, good looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, Clearly. And really, I am. Just, yeah, I'm just being stupid. Um, here, guys, I have a job to do. Mm-hmm. I have three wonderful children to support and, and a wife that, you know, cares for me and loves me. I've got a family. Um, I've got friends all over the world. And it's my job to go out and speak yeah. and to be an advocate. And if I can't do my job, then I have a problem.